Hey, what's going on guys? Today we're taking a look at a pretty cool and special little Dugram model kit. This one is a pack-in with the manga, which is pretty unique. It's small and simple, but it's got a lot of detail and it's a very cool design. So let's go ahead and take a look at it in today's review. Alright guys, so starting off with the box art here, this is just some incredible artwork here on the box that I definitely want to take a moment to just really appreciate everything going on here with this box on the outside of it. We got the big comics special, Get Truth, Dugram logo there, and then the illustration, which is very cool. It's just basically like a very high-end, like colorized comic illustration here on the front. It looks awesome. This is uh, volume one, so I believe this is uh, just containing the first volume of this new manga series. So here on the side of the box, we got a different illustration there, which also looks cool. It's the same on both sides. So here on the top of the box, here's a look at what the kit looks like that you have packaged inside here, which is what we're gonna be taking a look at here today, 172nd scale. On the opposite side of the box, there's just a few more photos of that, detailed photos of the head in there, the cockpit, for example. And on the back side, we've got some more here. So 2,700 yen or 2,970 after tax for this, for the Japanese list price for this. So around $30 for this, being that you get a manga and a model kit in here. It's not too bad. So let's go ahead and get it opened up. And as you guys can see, the box is not very big. So it's not gonna be a very large thing. When you get in the mail, you got your little spacer piece. And here is, the manga and here is the model kit which is just in this plain white box on the inside there's the cover art for the manga which is what we had on the side of the box there the back side here artwork looks great and it's all in color which is super cool i really like how they had like these block letters here which is this is basically kind of like similar to what we got on the front of the box but uh, it looks amazing so of course it's going to all be in japanese so that's unfortunate, but it's a pretty awesome addition here. It's pretty just rare, I guess, as far as I know. I don't read a lot of manga, but to have it all in color like this is very cool. So that is pretty awesome. Let's go ahead and check out the kit then. So here's all of our runners. We'll take a look at those in just a second. Our instruction manual is gonna be pretty simple, pretty bare bones here. Here's our parts list on this side and then it's just right into the construction and yeah it just looks very simple and that's pretty much it it's all in color which is nice but not going to be the most complicated kit it looks like starting off with the a runner here unfortunately we don't have any water slide decals included so we can just get right into the runners here but we got a lot of really great detail on here so there's your head part and hand parts over here just some armor pieces in this dark blue color and that's continued on to the b runner here which we've got two of looks like mostly parts for the arms and legs or the legs i guess mostly our arms are asymmetrical with this kit runner c is another part here in that dark blue color runners d and e are going to be some pieces here in off-white again those look very nicely detailed Runners F and G are going to be in this kind of slightly greenish dark gray color. Looks very nice. Runner H is in this kind of dark pale red for some nice details. Runner I is our clear piece for the canopy. And runner J is in this kind of olive tan color there for the mechanical pincer arm, which looks very cool. All right, guys, so here is the kit all built up. And I got to tell you, while building this kit, I couldn't help from feeling that it really feels like building an entry grade kit. After building a couple of entry grade kits from Bandai, the just the way that this kit went together just really reminded me a lot of that, where you have a lot of really nice detail and some pretty good color separation for it being as simple as it is. But the way that it goes together, just like the engineering of the kit, is so simple but very effective, as you guys will see once we get to looking at some of the articulation of it. And uh, why don't we just go ahead and get right into that right now? And because we don't have any accessories included with this kit, what you see here is what you get. So there's nothing else really to go over. As far as the head, it's got some really nice detail on there and that clear piece for the canopy looks really nice. But this is just gonna rotate side to side. There's no other articulation to the head other than that really. In the stomach section, you have some nice bend forward and back, 
side to side. The one thing that is kind of the trouble with this kit, while it does have a lot of really nice articulation built in, it is pretty loose. So you will want to tighten up some of these joints a little bit here on the shoulder. The shoulder armor will move up and down separately. The whole shoulder joint, as you can see, will move up and down all the way to there, but again, comes off quite easily. So just gonna wanna tighten things up a little bit, I think. Forward and back movement though is gonna be pretty limited as you really don't have much of anything there forward and back movement, but you've got some rotation there at the top of the arm. The elbow joint looks like it's gonna move, but it actually doesn't really move. You have some, a little bit more rotation there. I mean, just very slightly, I guess, just because of the way this elbow joint plugs in there, you'd think it would rotate, but I guess not really all that much. So the elbow, not really very functional. And if we go over here to the other arm, this also looks like it would function, but it doesn't. So you just have some rotation there, no actual bend there at the elbow. And this claw here is just on a ball joint and it's the same thing here for our hand on this side. So pretty limited, I guess, there in the arms. These kind of side skirt bits here do have a little bit of movement out to the side there like that. And I guess that is gonna help slightly, possibly, maybe in your movement of the hips, but not really. As you can see, the front skirt and back skirt are just fixed there. So your forward and back movement of the legs is gonna be limited a little bit there forward and back side to side only to about there but as you can see you got a nice double joint there in the knee with some separation of this little armor piece right there at the knee which is pretty cool and some nice color separation with these red bits the ankle will bend to the front like that and not really much back on the underside you got some nice detail there but also some hollow gaps inside there you do have some seam lines like here on the back of the leg also on the side of the shoulder a little bit there, but not too much in the way of seam lines on this kit. So while it does have some very nice color separation and really nice details, I guess the articulation is a bit of a mixed bag. So you have some kind of nice points of articulation and then some other places where there's just nothing at all, but you could certainly modify the kit further if you wanted to add more articulation to it, I suppose. But I can say certainly not quite as nice as the other Dugram kits available from Max Factory here. But as just like a pack-in to be included with the manga, I think this is a pretty cool set. It's a really nice kit, just depending on what you want to do with it just if you only want it to just to be a, just a cool design that you can paint up and you know you don't really need it to do necessarily do a whole lot you could even add more detail to it if you really wanted to with even further customization just adding little bits and little details here and there it's going to be a really really nice looking kit albeit just very simple so i guess that's probably why it reminded me so much of an entry grade kit just because of its simplicity definitely doesn't have the nice articulation that you get from the bandai uh, entry grade kits uh, but it definitely has that same simplicity in the feeling of building it. But let me know your guys' thoughts down in the comment section below. What do you guys think? Are you Dugram fans or not? Would you like to see some more Dugram content in the future? It's honestly just not a property that I'm all that familiar with or all that big of a fan of, but I do like some of the designs and this one is included. I definitely think this is a really cool design and a very nicely detailed kit. But as always guys, if you want to but as always guys, if you want to check out some different model kits from Max Factory, Bandai, Kodobuki, and all that, you can check the link to US Gundam store down in the video description below. Thank you as always for your support, liking the video, commenting, subscribing, or just checking out the video today. Really appreciate it guys. Till next time, hope you have a great day. I'll see y'all later. Bye bye.